Hey everybody, it's Nick here from Grayscale Gorilla. So Aron had a Cinema 4D question and we're always helping each other out here. So I figured we'd just flip on the camera and try to see if we can answer it. You wanna share your screen and we'll see where, yeah. uh, where you're at? All right, cool, yeah, let's do that. So, you know, I'm using a Buckyball. It's got a lot of geometry and I'm just gonna add in, like for a second here, the Atom Array. Sorry, it's right here. And drop the Buckyball electronic right in there. And uh, this looks pretty cool. Let me just give it a cool material. And the thing is that what I what I really want to do here is I want to have different shapes for the spheres. I think this looks really cool. You know, we can zoom in. You've got the spheres and you've got these little tubes that connect them. And it's super cool, but there I don't seem to find any kind of controls that let me change the shape of the atom ray of what's being used in the atom ray, like for the tubes or for the spheres. And I'm wondering if there's if there's a way, if there's something else in Cinema 4D that can do that. And you've obviously been doing this a long time, so maybe you've got a solution for that. Uh oh yeah, baby. There's a solution. Uh we could do that. Let, let's set it up. You, um, let me grab my screen. Mm -hmm. Let me. Do you see cinema? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, no, that's a great question. It's uh, atom array is pretty powerful, but you want you can basically make your own atom array, and then you have like full control. So I'll I'll just grab like a platonic real quick. We can make it a buckyball later, but um, let me show you real quick. You just grab a cloner, mm -hmm. and you basically can clone onto edges and vertexes the same way Adam Ray does, and then you can clone whatever you want onto it. So in this case, let's just remake it with a cylinder real quick. So you add a cloner. I hit Shift-C on my keyboard, by the way, to search cloner, mm. and then I grab this cylinder. And then in the cloner, there's a mode, rather than a grid mode, which is default, there's an object mode. When you switch it to object mode, nothing happens because you got to put an object in it. Got it. So you got to... Like grab your shape you want to atom array and put it in the um, shape here. And my default, it just kind of puts it on the surface. So let, let me shrink down this cylinder here real quick. Uh, Got it. So you're see. using these as the as the same thing, the, the tubes that connected all the spheres. Yeah, exactly. So the, there's only one more thing you got to do because by default it says surface. By the way, this is kind of cool <laughs> if you just crank it up. But yeah. if you instead go to distribution. Um, and then go to uh, edge. Then it scales nice. on the edge, and then there's only one more thing to do, which is hit click the scale on edge button. All right, two more things to do. You just turn your edge scale all the way up, and then that way it's there. So now we have our, our edges here, and then you basically do the same thing with another cloner to clone onto the vertexes. So I, I'm just going to duplicate it because it's already set up in yeah. mostly the right way. So I'll duplicate it. And then down here under distribution, other than edge, I want it to go to vertex. And there's uh, actually one other thing I got to do, which is orient my object to be the correct orientation. Sometimes like Z is better for this because then it kind of sticks out straight. Cool. And right now it's just cylinders, but we can replace this with whatever you want. Like we can do, I don't know, what should we do? Like a torus or something. Okay. So we could grab a torus, pull it in, and then delete the other one and just shrink it down. And now we essentially have, let me make this a little bit smaller, pipe radius down. We essentially have a customized atom array, except for now the shape is there. So the only, I, I keep saying the only other thing, but we're probably gonna do 10 more things here. <laughs> the platonic, you could just use these traffic lights. And if you hold option, I wish I knew this earlier. If you hold option and click these traffic lights, they both go at the same time. If you oh, hit it nice. twice, it'll just turn off that platonic. And mm -hmm. then now you're you're basically here with a customized atom array that you could put whatever you want onto. And you what about and materials? You can you can just put any material on each of the individual pieces that you've done there, like the you know the different the different. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Like that's uh, that's actually extra more power if you build it yourself with cloners. Then you can use different materials. So I could do like, a, let's use like a metal, gun metal for the cylinders. And let's make sure that's all looking good. Oh, baby. And then, of course, my favorite, orange. This this orange plastic age yeah. here. Okay. This is my fave. All right. So now, yeah, good point. So now you have like ultimate customization. In fact, you can go like one more step further. If you, if you take the Taurus and set it to Z, now you're now it's kind of aiming this way, and then you could do something like this. You could actually add a null in the cloner and clone many things onto each vertex. So, you know, gotta add a sphere into this thing. So if you add a sphere mm -hmm. and then you set this to something smaller, like two, 
then check this out. Then we can go into coordinates and move it up on the uh, Z axis. And it actually is floating now like above the object. Right God, here. It's, it's treating what's in that null as a single object. Yeah, for, exactly. For it'll clone whatever you put in this null. Um, it'll work just like a regular cloner. You could put many things in the cloner and it'll randomize along it. But even just this simple trick where it's like, okay, now you have many objects that you can do. You could even do one more thing like with the cylinder itself because right now this is pretty similar. You could do this with a atom array. But you could duplicate your original cylinder, the first one we made, mm -hmm. and make it like um, make it like a little bit thicker radius, and mm -hmm. then and then unshrink it the same way we did this edge scale in the cloner. You just yeah. shrink it back down, and now oh, you got cool. these little details here, and you can mess with offset. Like you got a lot extra power if you um, you know these need to be orange now, right? You okay. you mentioned, of course, obviously. You, you mentioned course. randomization, though. Like, what, what are the options for that? Like, what can you do to uh, randomize the look a little? Um, so you can you can move stuff with, like, an effector, right? Is that what you're saying? You can you could randomize well, I, mean, I, don't, I don't even know. So, like, I know that I was thinking of position, right? But there's also, like, what about, what about, like, I've seen where you have multiple objects also instead of just one object that's repeated over and over. But what it, Oh, I mean, gotcha. Yeah, so just like a, like, like a different cloner, you can come up and say maybe some of these are cones, Mm -hmm. And let's shrink this down. And then let's say we want some of these to be cones and some of these to be the the um, little whatever this thing is that we made. Then you just drag the cone in. Mm -hmm. And now every right now it's set to um, iterate, which means every other clone, every other vertex will be the, the nice. cone. And then every other one will be this thing that we made. So we got to do a couple little things like set it to Z so it's aiming the right direction. And uh, maybe we do this null trick again just so we can move it, right? So this allows mm -hmm. us to actually grab this cone, go to our coordinates, and move it in um, uh, Z so it's sticking out. And uh, you know it needs material. Right. And so that then you could do that infinitely, too. You could you could have uh, 20 of these, and it'll iterate through. Each, each uh, vertex will be a unique thing if you want it. You could also set this to random instead of iterate, and then it'll just literally be random. So then if you up your resolution or add more geometry to your platonic, Whoa. it it just it just works. Like it's see how random it is? It's just yeah, kind of picking cool. whatever. Um, but then if we go back to um, iterate, then you'll see it's more of a specific pattern. Mm. There we go. Yeah. So, so you got a lot of options there to do it. That's kind of a little bit too much geometry, but let's back that out. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's pretty nice. Thanks. I appreciate it. I mean, like that, it's uh, it's really helpful because I've kind of been stuck in just using the little spheres and lines, and this this really opens up to a lot of cool options. Yeah, anytime, man. That stuff's fun. We'll uh, we'll do another one soon, man. All right, cool. Take it easy. All right, bye, bud.